Well, we have the most perfect day for you. A warm hello in every sense of the word. The sun is out and football has a special place on this most idyllic of days. A fixture ahead of us to which we've all been looking forward for so very, very long. And it means so very, very much. The scene could not be more beautiful. The pitch looks terrific. The players are ready to get started. And we cannot wait for the contest that lies ahead. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture perfect for a game of this nature. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Yeah, Riyad Mahrez. He's one of the best dribblers around, Peter, with such delicate close control and, and wonderful balance. He could finish with the best of them too, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him score a few cracking individual efforts for this team. He loves to move in from that right flank and unleash with his left foot. I think the opposition defence agree too. He's going to be the source of so many of their headaches. And we're underway. Jao Cancelo. Ake tries to get it forward quickly. And here's Sterling. And here's Sterling. A really good feat. Gets it back. Well, the defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. Well, it's not the quickest of starts, but what it lacks in intensity certainly is made up by a, a large serving of, of discipline and organisation. OK. That's been drilled forward. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Greenish, proving impossible to wrestle off the ball. Sterling plays it in. He's gone for it! They've scored! Yeah, looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Gundogan battles to win it back. Too much on it, and that's the keepers. And no, that is pretty much the end of that.
Uh, more than happy to take the muscular approach. Now it's Sterling. Oh, good ball. Forward it goes. Played towards the front men. Questions were asked, but he's given the answers. Gundogan. Jao Cancelo drives it forward. And it's Cancelo. Lovely bit of skill there. Fernandinho has a hit! Oh, what a wonderful stop! Fernandinho simply didn't do anything wrong. He was thwarted by brilliance. Hoists it forward. I think that's offside. Yes, it is. Grealish. Hardly anything between the sides, and it's 1 0. Ruben Diaz, Jao Cancelo looks to get on the end of this. And that is going to be the final action of the first half. Well, there we are, off they go for half time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, you obviously have to give credit to the front run for the half-time lead, but I think the midfield can really pat themselves on the back too. They work tirelessly for me. Manchester leading 1-0 at the break. And the second half gets on the way. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. And it's played forward. Ferran Torres. Good challenge. He just stood firm. And it's Morris. It's a promising run he's making on the right. And here's Morris. Morris plays it in. Knocks it away. Manchester still that goal for the good. Okay, looking to hit the front line. That's just very well played. He can't hold you with his back to the and he didn't go for the back of the He pulled him out of that challenge. Loses his balance and loses his ball. Norwich are just going to go the best in the right way. He hopes it's just about the best of the best of the best of the best of the Let's <laughs> go. 
Here it comes. And here's Sterling out to the right. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. Greenish goes looking. Pricon to goal. And the shot! Defending of the desperate variety. Tries to get it forward quickly. Tries to locate someone up front. Zinchenko hoists it forward. And it's Fernandinho. Fernandinho! Oh, and that should have been two. Fernandinho has reacted in utter shock here. For him, the keeper has pulled off the impossible. Tries to get it clear. Fernandinho. It's Fernandinho! And in it goes. A two-goal cushion. And it's looking safe. Oh, beautifully dispatched. There was no reaching that. Now that's what I call finishing. Right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Manchester have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, he's worked so hard for his side, uh, as you would expect, but he couldn't help notice that he was starting to, to labour a bit, so it's no surprise. Things starting to look very comfortable. Plays it out to the wing. Goes for goal! And that's off target. Jao Cancelo, Gabriel Jesus, Ferran Torres, Jao Cancelo, and it's hoisted clear. Time added on will be two minutes. Gets into a dangerous position. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. And the referee brings it to a close. Solid, if not especially fancy, always in control, they did enough to win it.
How would you summarise what we've seen today then, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim, and goodbye. Ladies and gentlemen.